All right, we are back on our space adventure with Dave, and I just loaded up the game and <laughs> already having some battles going on. So just thought I captured that as quickly as possible. But today, ultimately, we are rebuilding our ship. But I just want to <laughs> capture this battle really quick too because it looks pretty cool. No, I just hope he didn't come in. I why he had to come in. He should have stayed outside and have a nice little battle with these things. I think it's going to shoot me once I come out. Well, I'm half in there, so I'm kind of cheating. And it's really coming right towards me, actually. And it's a small grid ship, looks like. Yeah. A corrupt experimental drone. And they just had a quick little battle with the Reaver Harpoon. So... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Comes right towards me. So, that might be a problem, because once I get off of this he might actually just attack me let's get off and see what's gonna happen is it gonna follow me outside if it's gonna follow me outside then I'm gonna have to deal with it somehow and by dealing with it I'm just going to either shoot it down or grind it down finding that sweet spot if you're gonna go outside go outside get out of here or do I have to push you out? I guess I'll just push you out like that. And see if I can just get rid of some of these weapons. So that kind of worked out. <laughs> Very cheesy way, but worked out. So yeah, every time I load up the game, something odd happens. Uh, I guess it kind of resets the the NPCs a bit in their actions so that's why it gets a little funky but I gotta get rid of the stuff because I need to move the ship and these things are gonna clang around if I start moving so let's hope that's not the case I mean I don't really care to disassemble every little piece but it's kind of in a way at this moment so we're gonna have to do that right now alright so let's move away from that and just let that deal with it and see what's going on here. We have all the drones still stuck inside. That one kind of moving around. Which one is that one? That is just a piece. Never mind. So that's going to probably fly into the moon now. <laughs> so we'll let that do that. And... But try to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to rebuild the ship. And probably going to rebuild it in an odd way. Might not like upgrade the ship at all. But build it separately. So I might have to attach it on this ship. And build it separately somehow. And we'll take care of that in a bit. But, but what I meant by doing something differently. Because you know how we always do some time lapse here and there. I'm just going to build a ship while I record a time lapse and it will show you the time lapse afterwards. So then that looks pretty cool that way. So I need a level 3 welder. So definitely need some platinum. So what I can do is dismantle a few missiles, which I think I have a lot of. So let's do that and take care of that. We're going to build a new ship and attach it to this so we can easily move it back and forth just in case something does attack us. So I think I'm going to start building it um, pretty much from anywhere. Uh, maybe I just put a little, couple blocks for now. Ah, here. Let's put it here. We'll build it out from here. And we can easily break it off once we get closer to finishing it. So I think the best way to start off this build is going to be giving myself enough space. Alright, so I have a kind of an idea of what, how I'm going to build it, but not exactly 100% sure. I definitely want to make it as long as possible, but not too long. So, this is probably going to be the front, so I can design it a little bit better. I'm going to design it probably 1, 2, 3, 4 across, and another 4 across, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that gives us nine across. 
And that might be the strategy. Alright, so I got my tier 3 welder, which is good. Alright, so as I was saying, we're going to build uh, 9 across. I think that's going to be a good start, 9 across. So we're just going to build it. It's kind of be it's gonna be not a brick style, but close to a brick style. Brick style mean most of the times when people start off making ships in space engineers, it's always like a, a rectangular or cube-like kind of ship or vehicle. And this is something I built similar before, and I want to kind of mimic that. And you may have seen a ship from the uh, 3D print build, which you'll see on the top right on that episode. So check that out if you want to. Uh, see what that ship is gonna look like it's got dark ship that kind of looks um like it has a little ramp in there in the front but you'll see it once i build it out so hopefully this turns out similar not exactly but very similar to to that ship all right so what i think i did wrong let me just fix this too long there all right so I do need other blocks, so let me grab the other blocks, uh, half blocks kind of stuff, and then these things here, and we should be good to go. So we will build it in an interesting way, and it's going to be these guys. I have a little ramp here, and it's going to be non-ramp there and this is going to be the higher ramp that going to be something similar to that I think that's going to do alright so we're going to keep designing this as we go and weld it up as we go too so you can see the definition of it as well but first we're just going to build out the main sections of this should turn out decently once we're done with it and it's gonna have everything we need to start traveling around space and you know go to different planets to get other things like magnesium which i actually don't need magnesium anymore uh, i might need platinum and stuff like that but or we can stay and travel around the planets see what we can get and battle some ships all right, so this is going to be the body. The front is a ramp for maybe a smaller ship if we want to put a smaller ship there. But this part is probably going to be the body and the main control room of the ship itself. So we're going to put this all together and you'll see it soon, how it will look soon. All right, so that's that. Let's put a divider here. And and we'll just have to go on a... So we'll probably put the windows up here. That has a better outlook. Yeah, that's a better outlook. Um, we'll have to build the walls. Second, Maybe a second floor-ish kind of thing. So we'll just do that really quick right and let me start welding it so that it looks a little bit better so bear with me on that all right we are done with the welding so far and it's looking pretty good i don't know how else i should do this but maybe add some walls here and i think i might need to extend it just a little bit more more I would think what if we say two more on this side Can we do that I think that should be okay and I could throw all the stuff that I need inside here might be a little bit compact but that might be the idea so let me put this here that's gonna be the middle so we can add some kind of door. Um, thinking this door, sliding door. We'll put the sliding door here. Probably want to do it in uh, this way. 
So then we can actually just go step here and then go in. Although that's not the best way to do it. But we're going to work with that for now. I haven't really worked the door like that. But I think that would be a good idea. Let me weld up the rest so we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so that's the door. It looks okay. It's not the best looking thing. But we'll leave that for now. And then we got to figure out the situation here. How do we want to put everything in here? I think I want to make the control station like over here. And everything else can be back here. Right? Yeah, I think that should be it. If I put the control station up here, probably going to do maybe a two pane window system. So I'm going to have to extend this even more. And the reason why I do two pane system is so that we don't get destroyed easily by missiles and bullets and things like that because usually they shoot the control seat first from what I've seen so far and we don't want that so we're probably gonna double paint it for security and that should work out fine um, so most of the stuff that I'm welding down even though I'm welding it here I should I'm I am going to take apart a few things too because I have to add some like hydrogen thrusters and things like that. So how can we design this a little bit better? Right. So we definitely need to have a large cargo, a hydrogen and uh, hydrogen tank as well. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I need some batteries and everything too. And it's kind of compact right now. So I think I need to work with, hmm, really want to design the shell first before I put everything in, but that's actually not a good strategy. We can put the control seat down. Of course, we're going to use the fancy one. That's going to look like this. Put that there. We need interior plates. Okay, so let me grab the stuff that I need. Put the control seat down, suspension, control seat's good. Um, I gotta think about the cargo spacing and everything like that too. This is not actually giving me a lot of space, which is not great. So if I extend it by like one or two more, that might be a little bit more helpful. Um, uh, trying to think here. Yeah, definitely extend it a little bit more. Extend it three more. Just to give me that space that I need. Alright. And we'll leave the tail end open for now. And let me get some energy back. I need to put the large cargo container first. This is what I need first. Um... I don't know how to put this. Where to put this? Should I put this just down here? Right here? Maybe I should. Just put it right here. Let me get rid of this. And figure out a new way or a new style to go up. For now. So we'll just do that for now. Let's get a large cargo up and running in the back here. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. That's going to be fun. Right smack dab in the middle. Right about there. Not too far, not too close to everything. So let's weld this big boy up. That's up. We'll work around it. We'll put some batteries around here and there. I might not even be able to make much batteries because I don't have enough silicone to make... Uh, Power cells. I think I can make some. I think I have 40 in here and I've run out already. That's not good. So I definitely don't have enough power cells to make a battery. I think you need 80. So I'm gonna have to run on a reactor or something like that. Alright, so anyways. We have this here mainly because we need to connect some hydrogen tanks to stick out so we can use uh, the what's it called some hydrogen power 
So let's put hydrogen tanks. Let's use the smaller versions of them and plug them here and here and the other side. All right. Here's our hydrogen that sticks out and I am going to need my conjunction connectors, conveyors. And we just put one out here and outside sticking out like this. So this gives us an opportunity to pretty much do this. We have left, I mean backwards, forwards, upwards, downwards, and left and right proportions. So that's the idea of how to get the proportion going. And we'll throw in some iron thrusters because we're going to have the ability to do that too. All right, so that's looking good. Alrighty. And I'm probably going to cover this up. So we could probably cover this up with some nice little bendy blocks. So I'm going to do that. Do that. And that. And last one there. And we can also include this guy. To make it more flushed. A little bit of angles here and there, so we don't have to be too rectangular. This bit, this thing is, the ship is actually kind of building off like a brick style, but with a little bit of definition. Not a lot of definition, just a little bit of definition. But this is protecting the hydrogen, really and the hydrogen tank so if it gets shot it shouldn't be shot but if it does get shot you know at least it has some kind of protection it's good and i'm gonna have to do it on this side so bear with me all right so that's that um we need to put more stuff in here so we need batteries o2 generators all that stuff so i kind of need to actually make this junction here and there just to expand on what I can build on uh, on in terms of on the ship itself so we'll extend the connection points here and here and maybe up here as well yeah why not and then that way we have some connection points to make stuff Alright, so we need to do, let's just say a gyroscope, can't go anywhere in the ship, so that's not going to matter. Um, a reactor definitely needs to be attached to this thing here. So we'll do it this way. Do it this way, make it look a little better. Um, that's that. Battery, I'm not going to worry about right now. And I said I need an O2 generator. So that is going to be plugged in somehow. And I'm going to do two. Right, so it's going to be this way. One here. One here. Right? Is that going to be good? Yeah, why not? So let's do that. Um, you know what? Actually, I think I should fix this window. I'd rather it be more flush than have that little weird gap. So that's more flush that way. Grab that window again. Right, so this looks a little more flush and I can work with the outside design a little bit better. And I know I was planning to do the double pane, but I have no... I don't have enough to do that, but I will eventually do that across here, I believe. But now it looks a little more flushed so that it can look a little bit better. So that means I can turn this block into this slope. So there, we have a slightly better looking um, shape, I would say. All right. So that gives it a nice little shape. It's looking good. 
now it has a nice little shape. Uh, I think we could add stuff later on to it to make it look even better. But right now, that's pretty much the wall. We gotta build the wall a little higher, so uh, I gotta figure out how to close this on top over there. So that doesn't look too, too messy. Okay, so to build this out, I probably want to stick with the same design outside. And I guess it's going to have to be that way. I don't want too many windows because I'd rather have blocks to protect me. So it's going to look like that. It's for now. Right? That look good? Eh, I mean, not a fan of that top piece, but. Okay. Not terrible. Kind of. Alright, so that's that. I gotta make it kinda a little taller. Probably make it look a little bit better, but. Uh, we'll leave it for now. I mean. I can add a little more design to it's probably out here all right all right we gotta finish this somehow uh it's not looking as great as I want it to be but it's a start not terrible hmm all right so the ship is done now just gotta transfer some stuff over from this vehicle so it's not didn't come out exactly how I wanted to come out, but I had to do it quickly before things come by and attack us. So this is what we have. So what I did instead of doing double window panes, I did a gate from the Frostbite DLC. So then that way my get some more protection if I decide to close the gates. And then there, if I close the gates, my windows are protected. <laughs> That's a thing I've used to do with the hangar doors. But instead, I wanted to give this design a little bit of a try. So, that's what I did. But there is a bit of a window situation here where I can get pretty much shot at here and get killed. But, that is for another day and to fix. But here we go. We have a whole bunch of iron thrusters all equipped. I gotta design a little bit more. Put some edgings around some of them and make it look cooler in, in a sense. So a lot of iron thrusters, we were able to get that because of all the vehicles that we destroyed previously. Lots of turrets, uh, two in the bottom here, three up here. Probably should add some underneath, which I gave myself some room to do so with the conveyors, as you see here, but I might put a connector there as well. And in the back, it doesn't look that great, but I added these offset doors again from the Frostbite DLC. So, if we close the doors here, it will look like this, which looks pretty cool. Um, so, I try to pressurize the ship as well, but it's not pressurized because there's a hole or there's a leak somewhere, and I'm thinking it actually may be the refinery as you see here. So, I gotta find a way to plug that hole or plug this whole thing up, and maybe that would work better um if i plug it up i might lose this entry entryway but that again that's for another day to figure out uh, i'm not gonna figure out today but you know what maybe i should add some quick little ramps here just for now so we have a way up oh we can do it this way or this way i think this way might actually look cooler all right so this is the ship that we're probably gonna go for and now we just gotta Pretty much get everything transferred over to the large container that's in this ship. Um, before we do that, I think I did take off the ore detector previously. And I'm just going to add it back here. And that will look decent. Not too bad. <laughs> got the farm there and everything. Again, just got to shape it out a little bit more. But I'm running out of time to do so. So I'm gonna leave it as this for now. Now I just need to transfer everything over. Uh, to do that, I probably just need to connect a connector on here. Get my stuff transferred over and then I'm gonna start grinding down this entire unit, basically. So, 
How can I do that? Basically, it's going to be... Actually, you know what? I can just connect it through that. So, if I just connect it through this conveyor into my conveyors here, uh, I can start moving stuff. So, all I need is tubing, basically, for that. So, let's do that. Let's grab as much tubings as we can, conveyors. Let's get this going. I don't need a connector. That's actually a lot better. Then we're going to put that here. And just connect it, basically. I could connect it down there. The welder if I wanted to, but I guess not for now. And we'll just curve it around. Perfect. So now we are... There we go. Maybe we can start transferring stuff over using a, a sorter instead. So it pulls everything and collects it over to this side. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. All right. Ooh. Okay, so that just turned on. And wasting bullets. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that was a test, we can call it. <laughs> Alright, so how am I going to do this specifically? I don't know yet. Alright, so that's that. Yeah, we'll take it apart from the rear end to the front end. This is kind of glitched or because it's kind of... Part of the the shield, kind of touching it, I think. I can move it. Maybe I could grind it down. Or not. I don't know. We'll leave that alone. So we'll just grind it from the back end forward. So then that way we can transfer everything over. All right. So let's get that started. So that's going to be today's episode because I running out of time and this build took me about two, three hours and it's not looking too great, but it looks all right. Um, I'm going to color it a little bit, uh, move off some edges and make it look a little better inside. It's going to need some lighting because it's really, really dark. I have my lights on now and I need to find a way to pressurize this um, ship basically. So, I think the issue is this. I could be wrong, but it seems like this is the issue. So, I have to solve this somehow. Uh, and I'll try to solve that somehow. Because if I close everything, it is unpressurized still. So, I can't think of anything else other than 
that refinery that's causing the issue. Everything else seems to be locked down. Uh, all the windows are locked down. The windows here and then the gate. So that's all locked down. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Why it's unpressurized. It is likely because of the refinery. So I got to find a way to cover that up. Uh, I might have to take off this solar panel just to cover it up. And see, maybe that's what it is. I can't do it now since I'm inside the shield. But we're looking good. Um, I think with this ship, we're going to be able to venture off to battle other ships. And hopefully survive. Maybe I have to add a little bit more turrets just in case. Probably at the bottom. Probably need a connector and everything too. So I think the next thing to do is head off to find another economy base. Or head towards Mars as we planned a couple of episodes ago. Maybe not Mars, but the Titan... Uh, or Titan, which is the Mars moon. So I think that might be the strategy uh, from here on out. So I just took apart the whole entire respawn pod. And for some reason, this whole thing became the respawn pod in its name. It doesn't have a beacon, so I probably need to put a beacon so I can find it if I ever lose my ship. But that's for another day. Uh, definitely need to make this look a little bit better. But it's it's got some shape in the front. And the rear is just a brick, basically. So I gotta find a way to change that up and make that look pretty different or prettier somehow. So we'll figure that out once we get a chance to color it and do that too. But for now, this is our new ship, which is equipped with everything that we need. Uh, probably gotta add a little bit more. And we can pretty much move on to the next adventure after this. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.